In this lesson, we'll create a Hello World with Quintus, and we'll load our map, the map we built with the tiled map editor. So, download the source code of the project and go to folder 01. You'll find a uh, file called index.html, which is the entry point of our HTML5 game, and the folders that we have are lib for all of the Quintus libraries, images, which contains the sprite sheet, this file sprites of PNG, we haven't, we're not really using that for the time being. We have a folder called scripts, which will contain game.js, that's going to be the main script of our game. And a folder called data. In, a, in the folder data is where you put uh, the JSON files that you'll be using, and also the TMX files. So let's open our code editor, I'm using Sublime Text, you're free to use any code editor you want, and let's open index.html. So basically all we have here, this is a pretty much empty HTML5 document which contains the um, loading of the Quintus libraries. And also we're loading and executing this game.js script, which is going to be our, um, our main script for our game. And I'm setting some basic uh, body styles, I don't want to have any paddings in the body or margins, and I'm setting the, the background color to black. That's just a matter of personal preference. Now, let's open up game.js, see what we find there. So, the first line contains an event listener. We're listening to, we're listening to the load event. Once you load the page and the DOM, the document object model of your page, is fully loaded, explained in simple terms, the page is loaded, now you want your game to um, to start because that's when you're sure that all of the assets that everything is available and now you can start creating your game so the way we do that is we define um, a variable called q which we, we're also going to attach to the window object now why we, we we do that simply because that allows us to uh, access q from from here from the console if you add uh, an object to the window object that makes it available everywhere. We're setting development to true, Quintus in development mode. That means that when we're loading external files, those external files are not going to be caged by, a web, by our web browser. So we're always going to have the latest version of these files. The, the next step is to include the, include the modules that, that you'll be using. So we'll be using the scenes module. We'll have different. We'll, we need we need to have scenes in our game. It, you can't have a game without a scene. That's basically the, the the instructions on what to put on the screen. We need sprites, and we'll be using the two D module as we'll have gravity and some other basic physics and two D um, engine features. We'll be we'll be working with the keyboard with the touch screen. In this um, at least in this. Um, basic game. We won't have user interface, but this is how you load it, how you can work with it. Uh, um, and You need to load it if you want to work with it. And TMX, the TMX module basically gives us access to working with TMX files. Those are the level editor files that we just created. And the audio module, as the name suggests, allows us to add sounds and music to our games. We're calling then the setup method, and we're passing it uh, screen width and height. I'm I'm doing I'm using a very very um, small numbers here just because the tiles are also very small and I want them to look big on the screen. Um, but this resolution is actually a good one to use because it fits this um, aspect ratio, 1280 and 720, which is a very commonly used um, screen ratio nowadays on phones. I set the property scale to fit just because I want the content to fit the screen. So if, if I have a big screen, it'll fit the entire screen, um, keeping, of course, the ratio that I've defined. By calling then controls and touch, those um, these have to do with touch screen, so the game will work on a touch screen. And by, by using controls, controls, it will show controls uh, for the character if you're on a mobile phone. We'll get to that much later in the course, but I'm just making sure this is all there. Now, Set image smoothing this is an optional thing to add. Normally, Quintus will um, will not set any properties regarding image smoothing, but if you set false, then it will 
the images will be scaled as they are without uh, smoothing the edges. And now, what what's the problem? The thing is, I have a small screen and it's most likely going to get increased in size. So I'd like to keep my pixels squared if possible, not blurry, which is what normally happens when you upscale an image. So this allows me to um, not to do this smoothing. Now let's add some coding here. There's two things I want to add. The first thing is I want to want to load the map file and once the map is fully loaded I want to show it on the screen. So let's begin by doing our asset loading. And we'll use a method called load tmx which is available now that we've added the tmx module. And in here you enter the files that you want to load. You can enter many files, comma separated, and the engine will know where to find them according to their extension. So I enter small level tmx, and that's Quintus knows already that tmx files should be in data, so that's where it's going to look for it. That's all I want to load for now. Now, um, regarding this, the sprite sheet image, if you load the tmx file, it will also load the images that are associated with it which in this case is just one image file. Now, what happens when this is successfully loaded? Now we want to stage our scene. What does that mean? Quintus works with the concept of stages. So whatever you put on the screen is on a stage. And staging um, the scene is basically the instructions on what to put on this stage. So we want to stage a scene. And this, um, this scene is going to be called level. And we still need to define that. We haven't done so. So I'm going to define it here. It's going to be called level. And stage is, as I mentioned, what's being shown on the screen. And what we want to do is to stage a TMX uh, map. This map is called small level.tmx. And we, was, we want to put that in this stage. Now let's reload the page and see that now it's loading the map. Um, and as you can see, if I reload the game, it's fitting on the screen as I, as I, as I specified. There are more concepts that will go along with this in further lessons. One of them is that of the camera, the, the viewport basically, because we're seeing just part of the level, but we obviously want the camera to follow our player. We don't have that for now, but well, we've covered this a fair bit in this lesson. Basically, the first step is to load all the modules that you want to use. You can create a main script for your game, or you could just create a script tag and do it all inline in index.html. We've done that in other uh, courses. It's really a matter of preference. Um, in this particular course, I opted to put everything on an external file. Now, we listen for the load event to be triggered, and once that's triggered, we create our queue object, which contains the, the, the main Quintus game engine. We load all the modules, we set up the screen, and then we load the assets. Once the assets are loaded, that's when you start putting things on the screen and when the game really begins.